guys, my name is Profitsu and today it's time for another review. This time it will be the 21st review already. Uh, and well, it's time for Israel, who was gonna be represented, uh, who was supposed to be represented by uh, Eden Alin, and she will be also uh, representing Israel next year, which is really cool. Uh, but she was re supposed to represent Israel with the song called Feker Libi. First of all, like always, uh, we need to have a shout out to the uh, composers of the song, the songwriters. And among them we can find Doron Medaille, Idan Reichel, uh, producers Yinon Yahel and Idan Reichel as well. Uh, so really uh, rich squad, uh, the label Teleproductions and AM Productions. Okay, so there you go, uh, the shout out is done and now. What's the how's the review gonna look like? Uh, if you have seen uh, previous reviews, you know how it's gonna look like. But yeah, uh, a little remind uh, here. Uh, well, I'm gonna uh, judge the review the entry in three categories: the musical category, the vocal category, and the lyrical category. I'm gonna give short comments uh, in each of the categories. Give a s score from one to ten. Mm, and then, mm, yeah, sum this, I would sum this scores together and split them by three because of, of the three categories and then I'll have my average score for this entry. Uh, you can do it as well uh, and I, I, can, um, I encourage you to do so, to rate it in each of the categories in a scale from 1 to 10. Uh, yeah, it will be helpful. Anyways, uh, this song, what can I say about it? Uh, all I can say is I really like this song. But yeah, uh, honestly, uh, musical category first. Uh, what we can say is that it's uh, the song, the music, is a dance, disco and ethnic meet-up. Like they would meet up and that's the song. Uh, the structure, it's, it's slightly different because we have a lot of going on. There's the instrumental intro with some uh, voice, then it changes to verses, it's, you know, the, the drums go in, uh, then the pre-chorus and the whole song chorus, you know, there's a lot of going on, but it's a good thing, in my opinion, because it's perfectly right, perfect enough, you know, that's what I mean. Mm, there's a great variety of ethnic instruments, that's for sure, and that's what I like about this one. I like some ethnicity. Um, she lived in Ethiopia with her parents, so she has brought some African influence here, which is good, and mixed it up with some oriental sound and made it really uh, a really nice piece of uh, music. Really good. Uh, we hear some rattles, some drums, some string instruments, you know, there's uh, some good uh, mixture of sounds, mm, so there's, it's not too much. Like I've said, it's perfectly enough perfect enough, um, but yeah, on the other hand, for an average viewer, it might uh, sound like a chaos at first, you know, when they listen to it, they're like, whoa, what the hell is going on, you know, uh, but it might be a positive impression also, so it's hard to judge about it, but yeah, in the end, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 in the musical category, which is totally deserved because the music is lit, totally lit. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, next up the vocal category. Mm, yeah, e e Eden has a solid female voice. I really li like it. Mm, it totally sounds to sounds really good, uh, along with the melody, the music, the instruments. It sounds like it's perfect for her, and she seems feel great uh, in it when singing. Uh, the live performance we could see at the their national selection. Uh, well, yeah, it, it was totally authentic, the the vocals. And she had no big problems with high notes, I watched it, so yeah. Um, and she's also able to focus on both singing and dancing. And the charisma, charisma she has is also on point, totally. 
she has got the looks and so on, you, you know, it, it's hard to uh, make it combine together into a good performance. So yeah, that's uh, definitely a good job there. Mm, that's why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, uh, which I think isn't too high or too low. It's just perfect, right there. And the lyrical category, okay, um, yeah. I like the vocabulary picked here, like the Pachamama, you know, this, uh, uh, there's the Melodia, Melodia, uh, ma wait, Maka la de te, Maka la de masa, yeah, that's the oh, another one. Uh, so yeah, it's a really nice mixture of languages, like there's English, of course, uh, but there's also Amharic, where they speak uh, it in Eth Ethiopia. Uh, then there's Israeli, Hebrew, Hebrew, and then there's the uh, the Arabic language. So yeah, it's a really nice mixture of languages. Uh, sounds really good, uh, along with the melody and the vocals. So another great uh, combination. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, it might be repetitive for uh, some because it's it repeats a lot. So yeah, um, that's the point. Mm, I got to a point where it got boring for me, the lyrics, because of the lyrics, the song, I mean. Uh, but yeah, uh, the, um, it, I think it's a really uh, cool way to uh, to express love, to convey love, you know, in general. Uh, and it's, it's a text for everyone to sing, so that's another good thing. Uh, and my favorite line, Fekher libi, Habib albi, Ahuf libi, Ocha ani ochevet. Yeah, it, it sounds really good when she sings it, so I like it a lot. Uh, and yeah, uh, because of the repetitiveness, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 in the end. No, I have to be fair and square and not to uh, be so... Yeah, I couldn't do it higher. I think it's as high as I could. Because I, I, have, I have some appreciation for the for many different languages, that's why I'm giving it a this score. Uh, so it's not, uh, not it, it should be lower, but I had to do it because there are a lot of uh, variety when it's up to the vocabulary and the languages. But yeah, in the end, uh, when we have my scores, it's time to sum them up together. 9 plus 8 is 17, 17 plus 7 is 24, and 24 split by 3 because of the 3 categories is um, 8, 8.0, 8.0. Uh, so we have a really uh, nice score, it isn't below 8, so it's a great score, totally great. But yeah, as we have my score, it's time to see what my uh, friends from Destination Eurovision think about this entry and how they have rated this entry, so let's go! Hello there again, Magic. How are you doing today? Well, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Thank you for asking. Yeah, I'm doing also pretty good. Uh, I won't be uh, nagging about things that we have around us, but yeah, it's all right. Not, nothing bad happened. So yeah, uh, I, I invited you uh, to join me in reviewing the, uh, the Israeli entry. Uh, this year at Eurovision Song Contest 2020. So yeah, what what's your opinion about Fekher, Fekher Libi? Well, I think that Fekher Libi is one of the most original and unique songs we have ever seen at the Eurovision. Uh, it is a beautiful love story uh, told in four languages, and I think it's it's amazing, yeah, how how Eden sings and how how she feels this songs this song uh, so yeah i think this song is great and for sure it is one of one of my favorite this year yeah i totally agree with you with the uniqueness and the four languages i mean amharic uh, Ar arabic israeli and english yeah it's just a beautiful mixture of uh, of lyrics yeah uh, but now it's time to reveal the scores of your Destination Eurovision jury. So please take it away. Uh, so for the really original music, we would like to give Israel 9.25 points. Uh, for this amazing voice, Eden receives uh, 9.5 points. 
and at the end in the lyrical category Israel gets seven point seven and a half points yeah so yeah this gives us the final score equal to 8.75 points okay wow that's a really high score one of the best you've given so far anyways thank you so much for giving uh, for joining me for giving your scores and giving your opinion today thank you so much so see you next time magic take care bye bye see you so there you have it that's their score for this entry for Fekker Halibi. Uh, and now uh, we we should add my score to their score. And this is what we get in the end when summing up those two scores. But yeah, let's not forget that you, my lovely viewers, my lovely subscribers, you also have your say in rating this song. How uh, could you do that? Well, the same as I do. All you have to do is to give all the scores from in a scale from 1 to 10 uh, for each of the category um, so the musical category the music, the melody, the vocal category the, how well the voice sounds in this song and the lyrical category how do you like the text and the message if it's repetitive for you or it isn't you know just uh, let me know and well uh, you can give a short comment uh, so, uh, yeah, I encourage you to leave a comment in general. Mm, and yeah, after we're done with this, we're, we're actually halfway uh, through all the ent uh, entries, all the reviews. But yeah, uh, in the end, mm, we'll uh, have a live stream where I'll give you all the scores. I promise I'll do the first live stream uh, where I'll review uh, all of it. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys, if you like this video do the thumbs up, I encourage you also to uh, leave a comment, and your scores for this entry in a scale from 1 to 10 in each of the three categories. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified about my newest reviews. And uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well, Destination Eurovision on Facebook and Instagram and, as, and also the, uh, the head of the jury that was in this episode. So yeah, uh, again, so thank you so much for watching guys, see you next time, take care, bye!